Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and I'm currently putting on one of my socks. Uh, we are the German Empire. We used to be known as Austria-Hungary, and at one point we were also known as the United States of Greater Austria. But we are now known as the good and the old and the only gold German Empire. Uh, there's a German government in exile, but that's not those aren't real Germans, you know, they're just... Africa and Africans and maybe a few British boys down there, you know, maybe some, a few Belgians down there, you know, Flan Fl Flemish people, whatever. Hmm, coffee, not too warm, a little warm, but not, but not great. All right, so yes, Germany does own South America, but our goal in this episode is to take out Hyderabad. Or actually, I guess okay, I'm definitely going to have to cheat to take them out, but uh, or at least to declare war. Uh, we will definitely finish off the German Chinese here, which honestly doesn't seem to be too much of a hassle at this point. I mean, they are pretty close to capitulation, just like the two Sicilies. We will have to take up Morocco as well as Ireland, so that'll be a major thing for us to do. And like I said before, I'm going to split Qing China into two parts. Qing will be in the north, and I'll probably have Algemeine Ostasian Gazelle shot as the bottom part because... They will not be part of the old German government, but we will usher in new Austrian government styles in there. Yeah, I like that much better. And I just left it to the Italians and my puppets and allies to take out two Sicilies, so I'm not really concerned. What we are waiting for, though, is our ships. This is not the navy that I wanted to use against whoever may be here. Ooh, baby, some of these ships need to heal up. Any ships over here? Two. I've sent two. Let's send a total of... A few more ships. Uh, and maybe one more. So, I was thinking about... I don't know. I, I really, I legitimate, legitimately do not know how long I can uh, do this this literal campaign until Man the Gums... Man the Gums? Man the Gums! My dental... Uh, my dentist said my gums aren't good. But no, Man the Guns, when it comes out, I don't know if I can really stretches out to 10 episodes, maybe, maybe, but I do know for a fact, though, uh, if if I cannot stretch this out to 10 episodes until the DLC comes out, I will play something else. It, it will be like a, maybe a, a, not exactly radically different game, but pretty radically different. I'm thinking about doing a game that'll be fun. A lot of fun that I used to play just so much. One of the best games I've ever honestly played back in the day that uh, that I could use, maybe for a few episodes, maybe one or two, just in case I can't switch this up in ten days. It's definitely not Hoi 4 even Paradox related, so I'm not playing CK2 because I don't know how to play CK2. <laughs> That's really complicated in my mind. I understand Victoria 2 a lot better than CK2. Uh, it's not EU4 because I'm not that good. And you know what? I'm just, I, I'm honestly stalling here at this point to go to war with Hyderabad because I'm now noticing how many divisions they have and uh, yeah, I don't have a bunch. But I do have a lot of air power, so that's what we're going to do. Ah, look at this. Let's cram it back up to eight because we could always use better fighters. Oh, we got some jet tactical bombers. Cool. I'm going to add in another 400 of these guys. And then we have space for, realistically, 400 more bombers, but we'll definitely have to wait for those. Cool. Oh, you guys are ready to go. Nice. Uh, take. You know what? We got two, three. Just throw all those guys over there. One, two, three, four. Three guys over here. That'll be pretty darn good. Oh, crap. I did not want to do that. Oh, crap. I did not want to do that either. I swear I'm an okay Hoi 4 player. That's what we wanted. Now I want half of you to come here, and the other half to come to the other guys, so that should work out fairly okay. Loudon, uh, an upgraded Schwarzenberg, class carried 4, twin, 41 centimeter. Centimeter? What the hell is centimeter? Centimeter. You know I'm an American. I don't ever use centimeters. The metric system? 
No. No. <laughs> My American is showing. Uh, yeah, but it does make sense in a lot of times just to use the metric system. Just because it makes so much sense to use. Uh, but feet, I love feet, and oh my gosh, Chick what'd you do? Feet and miles and yards. Yards, feet to yards are so easy to know, but then you go from like feet to miles to like 5,200 5, some? 5,280? 5, some? I don't remember. I don't really use calculations too much, but whatever. Uh, let's see, let's see. They're in the Entente, we can't attack them. I'm going to attack the Entente once we are done with all these battles and wars. The hell, Tanu Oriang? Hi. Well, you're not going to be a really big problem for us. Oh, hey, our ships are here. Nice. Good job, guys. So, you guys are immediately going to deploy, search and destroy, give them some time to get into the water. There you go. And we're going to repair for the three of those ships and anybody else. That looks perfect. Oh, that's a 1900 ships. Holy crap. I can't wait for man the guns. I just cannot wait because we got stuff from 1912 here that needs to get upgraded. It's 1950. Oh my god! Anyways, so I did say we we're going to invade using our tanks. Let's go ahead and invade Morocco so we can finish this gosh darn African front up and then have a really huge African front with the the wrong Germans. They don't have that many ships, which is great. I definitely don't want to lose any tanks. Ooh, that would be terrible. As we are waiting for more tactical bombers being produced. Yeah, that's good. Oh wait, jet tactical bombers. Yeah, oh wait, actually... Tactical bombers? Where are my tactical bombers? I don't want to produce that many of them. Only 15, that's good. Jet tactical bombers. Eh, I don't mind using these. I mean, I met, I met, I met, I made so many air wings that use tactical bombers. That's another issue that I wish would get brought up. Like, oh, you, you're done with the tactical bomber wing, or it could be the fighter wing, doesn't really matter. But you should be able to click a button where it says, hey, I want to eventually replace all my tactical bombers with jet tactical bombers, and the same thing for fighters. I think that would be amazing. Like, you could slowly phase in more, you know, jet fighters, jet tactical bombers, jet strategic bombers, into, uh, you know, your air wings, so you don't always use outdated equipment. I think that would be actually an extremely good idea that... That's actually never brought up. Oh, just close it up. That is never brought up in any of the forums, as far as I am aware. I don't know. Maybe they are brought up into in the forums and stuff like that, or anyone's requested that on the Reddit. Because honestly, I'm on Reddit a whole bunch. I'm on Reddit way too much. I don't even have an account, but I'm on Reddit way too much. Anyways, uh, can I not? Well, it looks like I'm taking everything. Uh, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, they'll take it. Cool. But, what was I talking about? I just wish there was a way you could just auto-upgrade them. Call any state. Well, oh, shit, what a click. That's fine. We're just going to mark all these states and just give it to our ally. Because they deserve it. They've been a loyal ally. They're not my puppet, unfortunately. But, uh... Oh, well, whatever. Uh, this is an independent state... Umbria, yeah, it's already marked. Rome or Latium. That's very good. It's, yeah, it's still Latium. Let's go ahead and core whatever we have. Let's see. This is the boot to the heel. God, when you play paradox games, you know basically geography pretty well, at least regarding Europe. Sicily. Yeah, you can have it. All right, very nice. And, of course, we have some starving, starving Irishmen. You know, what else is different, you know? The Irish are always going to be starving from some, the lack of something. If I've, if I've offended anybody by saying that, just take it as a joke. Alright. Oh, look! Our Tur Turkish allies decided to... Oh, my God. You know what? I'm done trying to fight for this piece of dirt. I'm going into the other hole. Other way. Yeah, this way. Yeah, it's better. Mucho better. Muy grande. M muy bueno. Yeah. I know Spanish. I know Spanish. American high school. I didn't take Spanish. I took German. That's how come I say Carl Egelsier instead of Carl Egg Egglesier. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just rambling here at this point with my lukewarm coffee. So. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, yeah. <coughs> Whew, that coffee. Alright, anyways. I always finish what I start. Or at least I try to. Doesn't always happen, but that's okay. Alright, my tanks. There's not a bunch of you, but... How close is... Oh, they're pretty close. I took the capital. 87% of the way towards capitulation. I'm sure we could... We can rapidly get through this. No, no problem, no worries. I hope Italy is happy, though, with its newfound glory and gains. You know, they're very happy with us, and I'm happy for them. They have a lot of divisions, which is good. <coughs> Excuse me. And, like, every time I finish my uh, coffee, you always got to wash your mouth out with at least some, some sort of water, some sort of mouthwash, because coffee stains your teeth so badly. Alright, so are we done here yet? Actually, I might use my tanks. No, I'm going to use a tank to take out the German government in exile. I have to. Go ahead and take these guys out and get up to Marrakesh. Marrakesh. That would be good. Yeah, I'm not attacking this side anymore. Makes no sense for me to. Alright, German China. I mean, our attacks aren't going well. But the German Chinese can't really move. It's not like I'm losing any soldiers. It's not like I created divisions using Austrian soldiers as well as my puppets. Manpower. No, no, no. I just take their divisions. And that's why we're only at 16,000 men lost with the Russians, or I guess the Iranians, Mongolians, and Arabians losing quite a few men, as well as the Ottomans. Oh, they were good. Oh, there you go. Oh, pretty good. Oh, wow. See? Morocco. They lose Marrakesh. They lose Casablanca. And they're done for. Now, I actually didn't think about what I'm going to do with this territory. God dang it, French. I don't know what I'm going to do with this territory. I'm going to Put a hole in the French Republic, but let's get rid of this guy down here. Actually, it would probably serve to increase the infrastructure in these areas, especially when we go to war with the French Republic. That'll be good enough. All right. Uh, with those guys in mind, let's go ahead and put some guys down here. Oh. Yeah, put some guys over here. Ah, screw it. Put them in the ocean. Uh, put them on the helicopter rides. Go into the ranch. Good, good, good. Those, those guys will be taken out quickly. Uh, you had to get in the way of the French Republic. I had to bail you out. The German Empire always has to bail out the French. That's weird to say. I don't think that's ever really happened. That's okay, though. Uh, let's see. Ooh. The fate of Morocco. So I'm not really sure what we're going to do here. I took over all of Austria. I might liberate all of Morocco, or I might just take it. I mean, it is Africa. Africa was a pretty colonial nation. Not a colonial nation, but pretty well colonized. I think they'd just be best under our rule. Alright, and this, like normal, war support at 5, whatever. Close enough. Cool, very nice. Very good. We'll have to go to war with Muscat. Uh, yeah, they're ready to go. I'm ready to go to war with these guys. I suppose that we actually... Hold on. So, all these guys don't have leaders because I'm using them elsewhere. Is there any way that I could potentially shore up any army leaders that aren't being used currently? When we finish the war in this episode with the AOG, I'm gonna definitely take away some of these leaders and or not basically redistribute them to the eastern to Africa because we will need to take out uh, the German government in exile so that way we get an easier access to Portugal South Union South Africa and stuff like that but with this in mind these guys all will need some sort of air cover or something oh my gosh look at all this crap now oh we've had it so good for a while uh, this is disappointing. But I do have a massive airbase here, which is kind of... Okay. Got a... Got a good... Good amount of air coverage here if we need it. Let's see. Fighters. Fighters. Jesus, this is, this is depressing. Naval bombers will definitely be necessary. Heavy fighters. I'm not sure. I don't think I actually have any more tactical bombers. Yeah, 400, that's not a lot. We're still produce, trying to produce more jet tactical bombers. Well, since we're waiting, we might as well get rid of a bunch of old garbage. Jet... Am I producing jet fighters? I don't think I am. 
No, close air support, not even using that. And rocket interceptors. Yeah, as much as I love those, I don't ever, really ever use them. And I'm still using a collection of old fighters for those air wings but that we made originally. I can't remember what we're actually making here, so whatever. Uh, since we're here, get rid of some of this stuff. Heavy fighters. Cool. Awesome. Uh, I guess we'll research better subs, because why not? Cool, very nice. Very nice. And they're standing by. And then we have one, two, three, four. Split them in half. This is one, two. Come down here. One, two. Come over here. One, two. Come over here. Uh, oh, we got a lot more. Screw it. Just, just shove a bunch of soldiers that way. I'm going to probably just span these armies once we're done here anyways. Doesn't even really matter. Awesome. Just, just go ahead and tell the German Chinese folks that they don't belong here. They don't belong in Africa. I can tell you that. Not much for Chinese. Chinese don't belong in Africa. I don't know if that's going to be taken out of context or anything, but you know what? Probably going to stand by that. Alright, so let's send these guys over to India if we can. Actually. By the time I go to war with India, they're probably not going to be able to make it, because I'm going to declare war pretty soon. Alright, yeah, that's good. Go through the Straits, past the Straits of Gibraltar, get to Europe as fast as you can. And then I'll probably manually control them to tell them to go down all the way here. Yeah. Once we're done with these guys, which they should be capitulating extremely soon, I would hope. Then I'm going to turn my attention towards Hyderabad. And I'll put some of these armies towards Hyderabad as well. Because I won't need all these armies. I'm going to need quite a few, but not all of them. Obviously. I hope. Ooh. I hope. I mean, after 5 million, 5 million casualties for China isn't that much. They're 99% of the way towards capitulation. Now, ooh, finally! I was waiting for this to finally happen. The experimental carrier finally finished, which means... I can't get the next one. Because we're out of political power, because I've been annexing everything. It's really kind of sucky. I might just use the console commands, actually, just to get rid of that. Just so I have some sort of political power, so I can actually... Is there better carriers? Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, right, so this is what we've kind of been waiting for. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to take everything. I'm going to take everything... Uh, I'll just take it all. Cool, that makes it easy. And then when we get the event, I'm going to give a lot of territory to Qing China. And then divide it up from there. Uh, there we go. Return Egyptian. No. Oh, oh, we... Ireland. Ireland, what are you doing? Cool. Fate of so Southwestern China. Alright, let's see what that is. After a successful campaign in the southwestern China, you mean in the, that, that duh shouldn't be there, in southwestern China, we now have the task to establish new local administrative authority in order to restore peace. However, there are several options for choice. I'm, I'm still thinking about this grammar mistake. After our successful campaign in southwestern China, yeah, you don't put the in China, in the China, you don't say the China, you say in China. Uh, Yunnan Republic. And these territories to our loyal ally. Yeah, I don't want Yunnan. I don't want them to become too strong. Uh, you know what? National Protection Alliance sounds like uh, sounds pretty good to me. So let's do that. And we will take out Ireland. We need to do that. And of course, the game's going to lag pretty freaking hard. Uh, I don't believe I remembered to give the Empire of Japan this territory. I don't remember giving them that, but I'm not going to question that at this point. Let's see. At this point, I don't think that the Irish Navy is really one to say that they're very strong, but they have a freaking button of national spirits. Holy cow. Our allies are doing well. You know what? I'm going to position my navy in there. Alright, you guys should be good enough. Uh, let's see. Brittany, you're only level 8? What the heck? I don't remember nuking you, so you should be level 8, actually. Anywhere in the this region, the Netherlands? Ha, ah, Holland. Very good. I want you to come over here. Just, and that's all you need to do is surround Ireland. Just go ahead. 
we're gonna throw all these ships to repair. So that'll be fine. Good, good, good. You guys should are probably ready to go, yeah. Not really concerned. Let's go ahead and go to war with these guys. These guys. Allow Diplo, yes. I can't spell, man. I can't type. Allow Diplo. And no, you're not. You're not gonna send freaking volunteers to Ireland, Germany. God, our only way home is through me, and through me, you're gonna probably gonna die. Everyone wants a non-aggression pack. I don't understand why. Anyways, all right. So with China here. Ooh, actually, they have a lot of ships, don't they? Ooh, I forgot about that. That's okay. We got a lot of ships here, too. Cool, alright. So, is anyone here? It's level 4, level 2, level 5. Uh, Austrian littoral? Whatever. Just come to here to here and guard down to there, maybe? Perhaps? That sounds pretty good to me. Do we have an event? Oh, the fate of southern China. Huh. Loyal ally, no. Guangxi Republic. I don't want to give it to China. I like the National Protection Alliance, because that sounds like a really good thing. I'm going to continue with military occupation. Yeah, I'm definitely going to give myself some political power here. Hold on. Alright, so... Fate of southern China. We're going to go ahead and transfer a lot of these territories over. That's a core state. Because the National Protection Alliance makes it sound like it's... More than just China. It sounds more than just like a sub-region of China. It's like an actual geographical location. Go ahead and transfer that over. And I will core these states for the National Protection Alliance because they're all Chinese. Even though within China itself, there are many different types of Chinese according to what I know. I might be completely wrong. But... I'm going to do this between this episode and the next, maybe? Let's see. How much, how much time do we need? We've got a few. we got a couple minutes left. And our allies will take out Ireland on them by themselves. You know what? Maybe we'll do it right now. Let's do the coast first, because that'll, that'll help us keep track of everything, Mark. So we've done four states now. And we'll transfer it over to these guys. And the game will lag very hard, but that's okay. Ah, uh, oh. I don't remember giving this to Mongolia. Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember giving that to Mongolia. But I don't mind taking a few of these uh, cities here. Like some of these coastal provinces. Or Mark and Core. <laughs> Let's see, like here, mark, transfer, shouldn't lag too hard for us to do this real quick, mark, mark, and I don't want that city, just because, I don't know why, alright, mark, yeah, they have no claims on this, so mark, Wingzu. oh shit, mark, mark, four, alright, so, you know, I'll do the rest of this between this up to the next, just so that it looks a little better. Okay, it looks like crap, but whatever. Uh, Ching China. Over here, though. Do they have a core on this? They do actually have a core, so actually, that's pretty nice. That'll be good. And actually, before we, before I actually do anything else, Mark. Mark, let's actually make sure that they can, the Ching Chinese actually have access to both parts of their country here. Alright, so that's enough what I'm going to do for now. This looks terrible, I'm sorry, but... I'm definitely coming back to this in a little bit. Alright, very good. Yeah, that's not bad. How much manpower does this group have? I'll do this between this episode and the next. Oh, they have Republican refugees. Alright. Sure, no, and sure. Six million manpower, no division. That's it. Oh! Oh, okay, so we sunk... We lost an ally destroyer. We sunk three German carriers, a large armored cruiser, and a cruiser. Interesting. And it looks like the UK is trying to make a comeback, not really working. Our Ukrainian allies have started liberating Ireland from the threat of uh, our enemies. Alright. You know what, do both these areas as well. Oh, have we encountered two German carriers by themselves? Germany, I don't think naval power is your, your idea of a good time. Don't know what, I don't think you know what you're doing. 
But we have at least 200 ships ready to kick some butt. That's why I'm leaving it up to my allies to take out Ireland. They invaded Devlin. I'm surprised they haven't actually capitulated yet. Hmm. Oh, the United States of America is back to being normal. And Ireland is gone. You didn't have to do anything. That's why I love having allies with you. So I'm going to take them. I'm going to probably actually liberate them. Because I don't want a stupid colony like that. I'm not going to colonize the Irish. They're already barbaric. Nah, I don't know. They're alright. They all have their independence for now. But if I take over the UK, I might actually get, just give Ireland back to the UK. Actually, that's not a good idea. I'll probably do that. Alright, so now we've fully defeated the former Reichs Pack minus Germany, and that's going to be our next focus. I almost said that we almost be done, but we're not. We'll never be done. Return to Egyptian lands. Return to lands, yeah. This looks terrible, but whatever. Uh, I want to see... Oh, we still have all these armies over here. That's right. Let me see. You guys are over here. You guys are over here. Yeah, actually, I need you guys over here still. Uh, let's build the infrastructure so you don't lose as much. Sure, we'll do that one as well. Ooh. You guys are over here. Yeah. I'm going to let Russia take care of you guys. Uh, Arabian Division. I'll let them take care of you as well. I have four more divisions. Don't really need them, so we'll do that. Ooh, ships lost? Ships not. Awesome. Any destroyers hurt? Damaged? Not feeling good? Wanting a sick day off? No, but some of these is, these dreadnoughts do. Alright, anything else? Ah, new tank division! Delightful. Absolutely delightful. Oh, so you're all down here. That's good. I need you to come over here. Good. You're going to actually draw a real front line. We will attack them as soon as my tanks are down here, though. Maybe, maybe, maybe make an encirclement. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Uh, da da da. So we are now not at war with anybody except the German government in exile. Nice. And I something tells me we're doing pretty well. So let's go ahead and rearrange our armies here in China. All right. So a lot of these armies, I don't really need that. Some of these armies I will need though. Uh, let's get rid of that. This is like twenty. Come over here. Uh. I'll get rid of that one, and we'll add this guy over here, which frees up another general. I can technically a field commander as well, but whatever. Hoffman. Uh, oh, actually, we have Erhard Raus. Oh, because we got rid of the other army group, which is good. And now we'll have Adolf Fischer. So this way, we have quite a few more divisions actually deploy here on this front, which we will go to war with Hyderabad in the next episode. Now, we do have a few extra armies here that we could deal with, so, a few extra things. Nepal being one of them. So, let's surround Nepal. We will take them out next, probably next episode. And then you will take out Bhutan, because, you know what, at this point, why the hell not? Yes, I am missing a few states, including the Triads, which I'll take out in the next episode probably as well. I mean, we might as well at this point. There's no point in waiting. And then we will, we will get ready for a war with the... Oh my gosh, that's a huge freaking navy over there. Uh, do I need any planes maybe to help out? Any naval bombers? Yeah, they'll probably need some naval bombers. So, oh my god, this is so bad. But, we got almost 6,000 naval bombers to spare, so... Not worried about that. Go ahead, when you come over here, and I'll add another 800 as well. A lot of naval bombers. That is a crap ton of naval bombers. So our fleet should be doing fine. Oh, there we go. Quite a few ships lost. Our fleet... We're gonna have to manually kill them. Oh, there we go. Another carrier, three destroyers, three cruisers, and an armored cruiser. Very nice. Yep, some of the ships are getting hit very hard, but that's okay since we have a few hundred planes in here. Totally fine, totally, totally, totally fine. And nice, we still another. We lost a destroyer, but that's okay. The German navy just dying here in the water. Love it. Oh, three more German convoys. Interesting enough. Now, technically, every day that we do wait going to war with the Entente, they get more stronger, or they get more strong. To be grammatically correct, I'm not a grammar Nazi. I don't know what a Nazi is. Never heard of that. But yeah, that's all. That's all right. Don't mind a little bit of a challenge. Not not too much of a hard challenge, but 
not too much of a challenge. Oh man, our fleet is dying like crazy. We're, or I guess a lot of our allies have left the area, but something tells me we got enough planes that I'm not really concerned about it. Another carrier sunk? They only have seven ships left. Another cruise carrier sunk? They made nothing but carriers! What the heck? And cruisers. You need some screens, Carl Durnett. You're, you're skill seven, but obviously that's a lie. It's obviously a lie. Oh. Good, good, good. Alright, so with that in mind... The carrier sunk. Awesome. I'm going to tell a lot of these guys to go ahead and repair. Oh, they already told themselves probably to repair. Go ahead and repair all of you. How many ships are here actually getting repaired? Oh my god. So many... Oh, crap. So many independent ships. Alright, so they've got enough of a skill base to actually do that. What are we doing down here? Oh, we found some convoys, some more convoys. Awesome! We are doing, I think, a bang-up job down here. Doing pretty darn well. Actually, we could probably use a couple commanders down here as well, actually. Field, we should add a field marshal here, so we actually can get some skill. As we are slowly taking out the German government in Africa. Africa quarter. Uh, alright, well, whatever. Something tells me they're probably not going to be able to do very much, but that's totally okay with me, and I hope it's okay with you as well, because we are done here today. So with that in mind, thank you very much, guys, for watching. We took out the AOG and basically China. I'm going to fix up China for us. We took out basically the rest of the Reichstag, minus the German government in exile, and next episode we're going to finish hopefully off Asia, and maybe, maybe begin our invasion of the Entente. That mind, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you like the video, subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you tomorrow. I know I'm freaking fast, but that's okay. Thank you very much for watching.